All right, in this video, we are going to talk about how to use Ultimaker Cura, which is a software that we use for the Ultimaker 3D printer. So with this, we are at the kiosk computer next to the Ultimaker. Remember, there is one in my classroom. There's also one in the lab. Uh, on this kiosk computer, there should be a desktop icon, but just in case there's not, you can also search down here in the search bar. ULTI and you should see the app pop up, Ultimaker Cura. Now I've got it loaded right over here, so I'm just going to bring this up. So this is what it should look like, looking at it from one angle or another. Uh, and you can see it's kind of an outline of our 3D printer. And the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to open our file. So right up here, we have this image that looks like a file folder being opened. We're going to click on that and we're going to find our STL. Now this is the point if you need to insert a flash drive, you'd insert a flash drive with your file on it and find it and select and open that file. Now you can see that I got an error message here or just a message that pops up that says it was auto scaled to 10,000% of the original size. That is huge. So what I need to do is I need to scale this so that it is the correct size. If for whatever reason, these tools are not highlighted, what you're gonna go ahead and do is right click and select all your models. And now all of my tools become available to me. The scale tool is often on most of our softwares, the tool that looks like a small object and a large object. That is our scale. So here I'm going to make sure that uniform scaling is checked so that everything scales when I change one side. And I know just from having built my model that it's supposed to be 20 millimeters by 15 millimeters. So I'm gonna change it from 200 to 20. I hit enter and everything changes in response. Now at this point I can see a shadow, but I can't actually see my model yet. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and reload my model and also reset all of the positions. And that should bring my model to the surface so that I can see it. From here, I need to rotate it. So I'm gonna click on this rotate icon and you can have the model either lay flat or you can tell it to select a face like that one right there to align to the build plate. So I just clicked on the bottom of my model since I want the bottom to be sitting flat. I do need two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I am going to multiply my selected model to make one copy. So now I've got the original plus a copy and here we are. From there, I'm going to right click again to select those models and arrange those models. So what that does is it automatically moves them into a position that is going to be best for the printer to do its job quickly. Now, once we've got our model set up in Ultimaker, we go ahead and hit this big blue slice button. When it starts slicing, it's going to figure out, first of all, about how long it's going to take, about how much material, and it's going to create the tool paths. Now, when we do this on the Ultimaker specifically, we actually are not able to send it directly to the printer, but instead we have to save it to a file. And that file, we are going to put immediately on a SD memory card. Now there should be some hanging out by the Ultimakers, but what you're going to do is you're going to grab that SD memory card and a card reader if necessary. You will plug the SD memory card into your computer, again, into the card reader if necessary, and it will show up as a storage drive under this PC. You will then go ahead and save it as G code. And then when you get to the Ultimaker, you will go ahead and load that G code and start it to print. There will be another video showing you what the screen of the Ultimaker will look like for that. So go ahead and check out that video if you are using the Ultimaker.